What's up guys? So one question a lot of people have when it comes to buying a Tesla, and specifically the Model 3, is what accessories come standard with the car? Does it come with its own charging cables? Does it have a spare wheel, an air compressor? Does it have its own floor mats? And all that type of stuff. So in today's video, we're going to do a deep dive into all the bits and bobs you can expect to find as standard on your Model 3 when you buy it. Let's get started. First up is what's known as the Tesla Mobile Connector. When you take delivery of the car, you can expect to find this in either the front or rear boot, and it's stored in the handy little carry bag you see here. Inside, you'll find two separate cables. One is a six meter long cable with a standard type two charge connector on one end and a power adapter on the other. The other is an interchangeable plug, which can be swapped out depending on what type of socket you're connecting to. By default, it comes with a standard 3-pin plug that can work anywhere in Ireland or the UK, and if you want to use different plugs if you're travelling in Europe, for example, then those can be purchased directly from Tesla's online website for €49 Euros each. So when would you use this charger, and what kind of charge rate could you expect? Well, the mobile connector is really only designed to be used in emergencies when there's no other chargers available, and as a result, the charge rate isn't exactly stellar. If you use the standard 3-pin plug, then you can expect to gain about 14 kilometers of range per hour. But if you happen to have a garage at home with an industrial outlet, then you can get up to 22 kilometers per hour from a 16 amp outlet, or 44 kilometers per hour from a 32 amp outlet. And again, those industrial adapters can be purchased directly from the Tesla store for 49 euros. In terms of using the charger, when it's plugged in and ready to charge, the power adapter will illuminate in green, meaning you can then plug it into the car. As it's a Tesla proprietary charger, it also features a dedicated button on the top of the charge connector, which, when pressed, will remotely open the charge port door, and when you're finished charging, you can simply press and hold on the same button to unlock the charger from the port. The next accessory on the list is the Type 2 charging cable. So this charging cable is what you'd need to use any time you want to connect to one of the public charging stations dotted around the country. At about 5 metres in length, it's long enough to reach either side of the car depending on where the charger is located, but only if you reverse into the parking space. If you park head first, then you might find it a bit of a stretch for the charging cable to reach the port at the other end of the car. In terms of usability, the two ends of the charger are actually different shapes and sizes, which makes it easy to tell which end goes where. The smaller diameter plug connects directly into the charger, while the larger end is plugged into the car itself. Unlike Tesla's mobile connector, the Type 2 cable is manufactured by a third-party company, meaning that it doesn't come with Tesla's proprietary button that enables you to remotely operate the charge port door. This means that any time you want to remove the charge cable from the car, then you'll have to manually release it using either the touchscreen, the mobile app, or the key fob. In terms of charging speed, the maximum speed you can expect to get from this cable is about 65 kilometers per hour on the Model 3, due to the fact that the onboard AC to DC converter is limited to a maximum power output of 11 kilowatts. Next up is the Tesla Roadside Safety Kit. Again, you'll find this in either the front or rear boot of any new Model 3, and it comes packaged in this handy red carry bag. Inside, you'll find a variety of different medical supplies, including cleaning wipes, bandages, and a first aid manual, in addition to a warning triangle and a safety vest. Both the mobile connector bag and the roadside safety bag also feature a special rough surface back panel, which means they easily stick to the fabric at the base of the boot, which prevents them from easily sliding about. So that covers the three main accessories that come with any new Model 3 when you buy it. However, what about the accessories that don't come standard with the car? Well, first and foremost in this regard is the lack of any spare wheel. Now, although most modern new cars don't come with a spare wheel as standard, they do come with a tyre sealant and air compressor kit, which enables you to get out of a troublesome situation if you do get a flat tyre. However, the Model 3 doesn't even come with this basic functionality. Instead, if you do get a flat tyre, then you're going to be totally reliant on Tesla roadside assistance to take you to the nearest service station. If you do want to get an air compressor, then you'll have to buy one from Tesla's website for €95. Euros. But as of making this video, the kit is completely sold out, which in itself suggests that this should be a standard accessory rather than an optional extra due to the extremely high demand. The next thing to note is the floor mats. If you get a long range or performance Model 3, then it does come with floor mats as standard. But if you go for the standard range plus Model 3, then you won't get any. 
Now, in my opinion, this is a bit stingy for a car that costs almost 50,000 euros to say that they don't even give you floor mats. And if you do want to get them, then you'll have to go straight to Tesla's website and buy them for almost 100 euros. In terms of the front and rear boots, if you want to get protective coverings, then you'll have to again go to Tesla's website and buy the front cover for 87 euros or the rear cover for 128 euros. And finally, the last notable omission in terms of accessories that you get with the Model 3 is the lack of any key fob. Instead, all you'll get are two key cards which don't offer the convenience of keyless entry or keyless driving since you have to manually press the key card against the B pillar to unlock the car and then rest it on the center console to enable it to drive. If you have a smartphone, then the Tesla mobile app can offer more features than you'd expect to find on the key fob, but just be wary of the fact that if your phone runs out of batteries and you don't have your key card with you, then there's no other way to get into the car. If you do want to purchase a key fob, then you'll have to buy one from Tesla's online website for €157, Euros. but to be honest, considering that I have one, there isn't really much point in spending that much money on the key fob unless you have something like a power boot system where you're really going to take advantage of the fact that you can remotely operate the boot and the frunk. So that's about it for today's video. As always, if you have any questions about any of these accessories, then do let me know in the comments, and be sure to check out my other Tesla video where I covered all of the accessories I got from my car to find out which ones I think are best. Until then, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.